Welcome back to Mini Lessons with Miss H. And happy Friday. Today we're doing page 190, unit 4, week 4. And we're writing an analysis of our reading. So we're going to reread Coyote Brings Fire. Then you're going to write about how the author uses the characters, what the characters say and do to share the theme of the story. Narrator. Long ago, people did not have fire. Coyote decided to bring it to them. Ooh, that is a problem. And Coyote bringing it to them is a solution. Long ago is a setting. Remember, when we annotate, we need to distinguish what type of detail we're giving. In other words, we need to write as. Distinguish is a big word to say label them or write the title, what type of detail they are. This is a setting detail, this is a problem detail, and this is a solution detail. Every time we have a theme, most likely they will include that in there, a problem and a solution, right? Coyote speaks to squirrel, chipmunk, and frog. Coyote, I know where, where we can get fire. The fire beings have it at their camp. Fire beings. Character. These are also characters. Oh, character and tough. And this one, I shouldn't have annotated. I already annotated up there, but it's okay. I have a workable plan to take the fire. Will you help? So now, Coyote is trying to get some people to come help him. Squirrel. Well, I'll help if you just tell us what to do. Coyote. Follow me very quiet. The animals sneak up to the fire being's camp. Coyote grabs a stick of fire and runs. Look out, Coyote! Oh, chipmunk. Look out, Coyote! The fire beings are chasing you! Run quickly! <gasps> oh no, that's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. That's another problem. P2. Frog. The fire beings touch the end of Coyote's tail. Now the fur there is white. <gasps> Oh no, so they burned the color off his tail. Let's see the rest. Coyote, toss the fire to me and I'll catch it. Coyote tosses the fire to Squirrel. Coyote, oh Squirrel, you caught the fire with your tail. The heat of the fire has curled your tail up over your back. <gasps> no. All these things are happening to these guys for doing a bad thing called stealing fire. <laughs> chipmunk, squirrel, toss the fire here to me. Squirrel tosses the fire to chipmunk. Coyote, watch out, chipmunk, a fire being is right behind you. Frog, the fire being scratched chipmunk's back. Look at the three stripes on his back. Throw the fire to me, chipmunk. <gasps> three stripes on his back. Chipmunk tosses the fire to Frog. Frog is caught by a fire being, but gets away. The fire being, that's a problem. He's caught. That's a problem. Five. Wow, there's a lot of problems in this story. He gets away. Solution five. The fire being still holds Frog's tail. <gasps> Frog, squirrel. Squirrel says, Frog, you have lost your tail. Coyote, here comes another fire being, Frog. Toss the fire onto what? Narrator. Now wood has fire. Coyote showed the people a useful skill. He rubbed two sticks together to make fire. From that day, the people had fire. Okay, so now you're going to have five minutes to answer these questions as best as you can. Ready, set. You have five questions to answer. <laughs> Yeah.
Okay, let's review. Number one, in Coyote Brings Fire, the main characters are... Our main characters are Narrator, Chipmunk, Coyote, Frog, Squirrel, and two Fire Beings. So you should have written all that up here. Our Narrator, Coyote, Squirrel, Chipmunk, Frog, and two Fire Beings. Number two, Coyote wants to bring fire to the people. Because they did not have fire. So he makes a workable plan to take the fire. Makes a plan to take the fire. He does this with who joins him in the plan? The animals. Which animals? Squirrel, chipmunk, and frog. And notice how I've capitalized the names of these characters. Okay? Number four, the characters' words and actions are important to the author's main message because they show how working together you can solve a problem. How working together they solved a problem. The theme of the story is, let's see, what did we say was the theme of the story? A job is easier when working together. Okay, they got people fire. It's pretty cool, even though they had to sacrifice themselves. So, if you got all of these correct, then you're going to put a little happy things for each one you got correct. Does it have to be exactly what I said? No. But my expectation is that it's similar. Similar means they're kind of the same. So 
So you would write however many you got right up here, how many happy faces you got. And see you next time. Bye. Have a great weekend.